Hi guys, and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. So, this is going to be a slightly different video. This is a breakdown video. Well, actually, it's not a breakdown video, it's just a different video. So, we all complain that we have bad teams. Everybody complains that we have bad teams. We all sit there and say, oh my god, my win rate is going down. I just can't win because the teams are so terrible. But, on occasion, the teams on the enemy side are just as bad. Now, I'm going to show you two videos. And the reason I want to show you these videos is because it shocked me the level of gameplay in the upper tiers. Now, I'm not exactly a skillful player, okay? I consider myself pretty average. But the level of gameplay that I saw in these two games yesterday really made me scratch my head. And it made me think, well, what is the point? What enjoyment do these players have? More to the point, how did those players get to that tier and get those tanks? And why bother? Because clearly they're not having a good time. Now, I, I freely admit the Waffle Tractor video, which I'm going to show you first, is worse than the Glilla. But they're both equally as bad. Okay. Now, if I was a super duper unicorn top player, then these two replays would have been a lot worse damage-wise than, than they actually are. But the point that I'm trying to make is still out there. And the point is this. If you are a new player, okay, or if you have very, very low win rates, and when I say a very low win rate, I mean you're looking at 43% or below, then you're not going to have fun in Tier 10. Okay, because even those less skilled are just going to absolutely destroy you. So the advice is, guys, whilst it is tempting to get up there and to get onto those big derpy guns and to have those tanks that you see in all the YouTube replays, you're doing yourself an injustice. You are spoiling your own game. You're spoiling your own enjoyment. Believe me. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the first game which is going to be a Waffle Tractor on Castilla. So here we are on Castilla. Now, I actually like the new map Castilla, and I've said that before. And this game, to me, was bizarre, to say the least. So I don't generally go to the position I'm about to go to on Castilla in a TD, because I don't generally like the position. But I looked at their lineup, and I could see that they are primarily heavy. Okay. So, and they've got a couple of TDs there. So I thought, well, you know, they haven't got any medium tanks. They've got four heavies, three TDs. Chances are they're going to come here. What I wasn't prepared for, to be honest with you, was what then happened. So we've got the 50B there out in the open. 50 TP is up high. And I'm sort of thinking, okay, you know, they're pushing around this way. Now, initially you would think oh well you know it's not a bad strat you're all heavy you've got no mediums no light you've got heavies and tds so it makes sense to go this way well oh look at that there's a 50 heavy there's a the, the, there's the agaru and there's an e4 now look that 50b is gone in less than a minute and they should have known that team should have known that something big is hitting that tank and that's something big is me and some of my team. They should have been getting out of there. They shouldn't have been lurking around. What they do, they continue to lurk. I mean, that is just madness. You know, now they've lost the Jaeger route and the 57 Emmy. They're three tanks down. We're only a minute and a half into the game. And they are persisting on staying out. Now we've got the AMX 5120 coming around the corner. Why? Why would you do that? I mean, this is just a turkey shoot. This is the great Castilla turkey shoot. Because all we're doing is just sitting here and just farming. I haven't moved. I've not moved. I don't need to move because they're just lining up to be smacked. And they're just wanting to be smacked. And that's all I am doing, sitting here and smacking them. And you would have thought that there would be some modicum of common sense kicking in saying, guys, there are big tanks over there. Don't go around the corner. Retreat. Go somewhere else. Look where their entire team died. They died in the same place. Every single one of them died. Look, they're all in the same place. None of them have moved, realistically. And, and you know, as I said, common sense, even... You don't need to be the most skillful player. Common sense should dictate 
that you don't go to those positions when your when when your tanks are being absolutely annihilated. And I just want to stop there because what I want to show you. Okay, it's 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 totally bizarre. Look at where their tanks are. All of them, all seven, are all in the same place. All of them. So we got the fifty TP, the AMX. We got another AMX. We got these three, and then we got the Hori. They have not moved from their positions, and all seven of them are dead. All seven are dead. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, they, they took down one of our tanks. I did 3.6k for free. For free. I didn't move. I, I've moved next to nowhere. And this is unbelievably bizarre for a tier 10 game. Now, let's have a look. We've got... You know, the Jaegeru did nothing. The T-57 did nothing. The AMX-50 did 100 damage. The AMX-50B did 124 damage. The Huri did 128. Sorry. No, they got three zeros. I'm, I'm talking about XP there. That's my bad. They got three zeros. The 50, uh, 120, the 57 heavy, and the, and the Jaegeru. 50B did 789 damage. Huri did 1,140, which isn't bad. 50TP did okay. And their E4 didn't do too badly but that is a terrible team I'm not going to show you their stats because th th that's no reason for that but that is not a good team and you know these two zeros at the bottom these are tier 10s you know the tier 10 tanks so you, you've got to have grinded your way there one would expect so you would expect somebody to have like you know a basic understanding of the game yet clearly not because that is just truly shockingly terrible and they just kept coming i mean you saw i did not move from my perch i stayed where i was and i was just able to farm the damage so you know i may not have had the best team in the world but it didn't really matter because they had the worst enemy team that i've seen in a long time now i'm going to flip to another replay this time in a gorilla and pretty much the same thing happens so here we are on Molinjek, and I'm in a gorilla this time, and it's again another tier 10, tier 9 game. Now, in the last game, we saw what I thought beggared belief, which was tanks just lining up waiting to be shot. And the thing that is sort of making me wonder is this. When you get shot by a big gun, okay, then 9 times out of 10, you kind of sort of retreat. Do you not get back into cover or whatever? That didn't happen in the last game, and that ain't going to happen in this game. And then I generally think, well, how did these players get to tier 10? And I was doing a Blitz chat stream the other day, and there was a comment on, made on there from, uh, from a very, very good player who said that the skill base is sort of gone down slightly. And I was hesitant to believe that at first, saying, oh, well, you know, the player base has, has, has evolved. But these two games really highlight the fact that the skill base has, in fact, reduced. Now, as I said in the last game, I'm not the most skillful of players, okay? I'm just pretty average. I'm not a super-duper unicorn. Um, I don't have fast fingers or any of that jazz. Yet, I, am doing, I do okay in, in these games. Now, the thing that sort of I ponder is, for, for example, let's take the 60 TP. I'm gonna smack him, I smack him for 624. Is he gonna retreat? No, he is gonna continue along his line so I can stick in another 600 into him. Look, there we go, 668. I've just taken 1200 damage from that guy because he gets knocked for 600 and he's completely oblivious to it. Now. There is, therefore, an issue in the game, okay? Now, this isn't about low win rates, etc., etc. This is about people rushing into the top tiers far, far, far too quickly. And to be honest with you, the blame has to rest with, primarily, Wargaming. Because they're constantly bombarding players with ways to 
excel themselves quickly and accelerate themselves into the top tiers. Now, that may look great and fancy. Here comes the 60 TP again. Bye. Now, that may be great for the player. You may think, oh, I'm, I'm pretty spectacular. I've now got a mouse or a 60 TP or whatever I've got. But the fact of the matter is this. It's not helping their game. It cannot be fun. Seriously, it cannot be fun. You know, if you're rolling out and you're losing more battles than you're winning and you're not doing the damage, etc., etc., that can't be fun. It really can't. So there's got to be some way that wargaming puts a bit of a restriction on this because without the restriction it, it's just going to go downhill pretty rapidly to be honest with you and people are gonna turn well to an extent tier 10 is realistically now a bit of a joke because why am I able to just farm damage like this okay I lost a few hit points but I didn't care by this stage I've done three and a half thousand damage you know this is an easy win now, you know, it's just beggar's belief the amount of bad decisions. The decisions that are that make no sense to me are being made. Now, you could say, but Fuji, you're being unfair in this game because, look, you know, they've taken out most of your team. Well, that's true. They have taken out most of my team. I never said my team was fantastic. What I'm saying is I was able to farm a considerable amount of damage, you know, pretty easily. And that sort of makes you scratch your head in wonder. Now, you could say, oh, but the stars aligned and you played the grill well. I didn't play the grill particularly well. And the, and the stars, yes, did align. But my fact still remains. I mean, a lot of what was going on there. Take the Jaeger Roo. The Jaeger Roo was getting smacked by me left, right, and said, he didn't move. Standard B just stood there. The 60 TP continued his march forward without a care in the world. And it just makes you think, what on earth is going on with the game? Because games like this cannot be fun for the players on the other end for me they're great fun i get i get good damage i get a first class i i get to feel nice about myself but for the enemy team how can you feel good about that you know you in your 60 tp and you do 700 damage how can you feel good about that you get smacked around left right and center it, it's gonna drive it would drive me insane is what i'm saying and that's the thing you know it, it for me, it would, it, I, I would, it would drive me mad, constantly losing, and I would think, well, you know, and then I would complain, oh, I'm always in the losing queue, I'm always getting bad teams, when nine times out of ten, the player, i.e. me, I'm the bad part of that equation, not the team, and I strongly advise players out there, if you've got below a 43% win rate, okay, don't go into tier 10, guys, because you're not ready for it seriously and that's not looking down on low win rate players i'm not saying you don't have the ability to get up there of course you do and i'm not saying that you will never have the skill to be in tier 10 of course you will what i'm saying is it's not about that it's about experience okay as i say i'm not the most skillful of players to, to be honest with you you know i'm not a super duper unicorn i do not have amazing skills but i do have experience and experience goes a long way you know the more games you play the more tanks you progress through in the lowerish tiers the more experience you get you get to understand the maps you get to understand the tanks and you get to understand certain strategies and it's that that you're going to bring to the game to increase your win rate not necessarily your amazing skill okay so when i rip into these low win rate players it's not because they've got low win rates I mean, we all start off with, well, most of us start off with mediocre win rates. And it's only over time that we build up to get to a better win rate. The thing is, if you've got a low win rate and you don't have many battles and you're jumping into a technically difficult tank at tier 10, you're just compounding the problem, okay? Because the chance of you carrying a game or being overly effective in a game are very slim which means you are relying on others around you to carry your sorry backside in that game. That doesn't improve you at all. In fact, quite the opposite. It sort of, it, it, it holds you back because you learn nothing. So I'm not saying don't play in those, in those tiers. What I'm saying is you can't be enjoying it and you're never gonna really improve. 
drop down. I mean, if you if you've seriously got to play big tanks with big derp, drop down to tier eight. There are big tanks there with big derp. You know, you got the ISU, etc., etc. Drop down, learn the basics first. Learn the maps. Learn how to play the tanks. Learn how to do the basic things like moving without getting spotted, or when you get spotted in smacked, get out of cover and get get back into cover and get out of position. Do the basics, guys. And then once you've mastered that and you've brought a couple of your points back on your win rates, then proceed up to tier nine. Do the same there. Play tier nine for at least a hundred games. Once you've done that, one tank that is, you know. So play tier nine, one tank for a hundred games. Once you're used to that level, then move to tier 10. No one's saying you can't go into tier 10. I'm just thinking about you, the players. You're not going to enjoy it. You're going to be very upset. You're going to be thinking you've spent money for no reason. You're thinking that everybody is against you. I mean, I, I rolled out in a battle yesterday where a 43% win rate player, before the battle even started, was screaming and shouting at everybody. Yeah, I'm in another losing team. There are another bunch of kids, another bunch of idiots. He was the worst player, <laughs> literally the worst player. And that's not because he's got a 43% win rate. It's because he's got it into his mindset that he's a good player and everybody around him is bad because he keeps losing. And he keeps losing because he is not ready to basically try and improve himself. <laughs> and that's the thing. And the chances are he's playing in tier 10 or tier 9, which is outside of his experience level may not be outside his skill level his skills may be actually quite good you know but it's outside his experience level and when it's outside your experience level you're not doing yourself any favors you're holding yourselves back so guys do yourself a favor if you have got a 43 percent win rate and you're in whatever tier you you know no matter how many battles you've got you need to drop down a couple of tiers you need to tune with better players you need to learn the basics of the game, okay? Just for your own peace of mind. Seriously, you will get better. You won't get better if you stay at tier 10 and plod along. You will get worse, you will get frustrated, and you'll, you'll end up thinking that the game is just broken because you're constantly in the losing queue. When nine times out of 10, you're not in the losing queue. You are the problem that you're losing. Okay, we don't want that. We want you to win. Everybody wants to have a nicer win rate. Nobody wants to win. So do yourself a favor. Bite the bullet. Drop down a couple of tiers to tier eight or something like that. Tier eight or even tier nine. Because tier nine gets you into tier 10 games though. But I would drop down to tier eight personally. So I'm facing tier sevens and tier nines. That's giving me a little bit more experience. And I would learn the basics over again. I will get comfortable with the movement on the maps. I'll get comfortable with the positions on the maps. And then I would take it forward. So, because games like what you've just seen should not be happening in in the top tier. They really shouldn't. I mean, what you saw on Castilla was just a joke. They're, they're all dying in one position, and they came one after the other, completely oblivious. Now, I'm not showing you what their win rates are, what their experience is, but you can take it from me. In the first game on Castilla, the, 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 the average win rate for that team was 42%. 42%. This is tier 9, tier 10. Okay. On Castilla, uh, on Castilla, you know, we, we had, and in some of those players, 30%, 38% actually. Now, they can't be enjoying it. If you're, if you're hitting 38%, you're doing something wrong because you're losing more battles than even the average player loses because the average win rate is 47%. So you're not doing yourself a favor. Drop down a few tiers. Do yourself, and do yourself a justice for your own peace of mind. On the Griller game, the average win rate there was 43%. Okay, It was up to a little bit because there were a couple of players on the enemy team with decent win rates. Uh, but they had low battle experience. So again, you know, I mean, guys, you're not doing yourselves any favours. This is not to belittle anybody with low win rates. Okay, I, for one, don't care what your win rate is. Okay, it doesn't really bother me. If I'm happy, if I'm in a team with a 40% win rate player, I'm in a team with a 40% win rate player. All I can expect is them to do their, their, their job to the best of their ability. You, though, as a 40% win rate player, must be so frustrated 
You must be sat there saying, I can never win a game. I'm losing 60% of my games. So every for every 10 games I play, I lose six and I only win four. That really can't be making you happy. And you really can't be enjoying the game. And I predominantly play tier 10. So if that's you, seriously guys, do yourself a favor. Drop down a couple of tiers, you know? Drop down a couple of tiers help yourselves that's the only way you're going to do it because until then you're just going to be on this downward spiral your win rate will not get better not in tier 10 i can assure you of that anyway i've been food i just wanted to show you those those free plays and have that chat because it took me completely by surprise by all means comment and everything below because i'd love to hear what you've got to say and until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it's all about you know having fun or trying to have fun and be happy